Imagine yourself as a movie lover, searching the internet for movies and the review of them. Consider yourself as an investor in upcoming movies, looking for reasons and some reports to invest. No one wants to waste his or her time on a movie that is not worth watching or investigate. So the internet plays a huge role in expressing opinion and sharing experiences about different movies. Good afternoon, everyone. Masuma Mohammadi here as a data scientist in Tel Aviv, the first and biggest IPTV VOD in Iran, present the sentiment analysis of Persian movie reviews. Uh, sentiment analysis or opinion mining is a technique to determine the emotional tones that a piece of text carries. Um, as the slide shows, SA models focus, can focus on polarity, um, negative, neutral, or positive. They can also explain on feelings and emotions, uh, just like uh, angry, sad, happy, and etc. Uh, it can talk about urgency, urgent and not urgent, and even intention, interested or not interested. Uh, I mentioned the importance of sentiment analysis and sharing idea online. I go further with the challenges of the current study in Persian language and the contribution of the current paper. First challenge was lack of data sets and resources. Lack of data in Persian and any low resource languages in NLP is a serious challenge. To meet the need, we start crawling uh, movies comments from several Persian uh, websites. The collected data is about uh, 158 um, sentences, which includes movie reviews. Uh, they contain um, some emojis, hashtags, and also uh, non-Persian characters. The second challenge why data was um, data uh, cleaning. We perform both automatic and manual pre-processing on cross data sets. During the manual phase, typo errors are eliminated. Uh, if you follow the uh, pink diamond in the picture, you can find um, omitting the typo errors. Then uh, we have performed another step such as null value imitation and removing unwanted data. Sometimes uh, emojis and punctuations create confusion about what the uh, sentence means emotionally. The um, automatic phase has handled with the Python script. This script contains removing punctuation and emojing uh, after, after that, we try to uh, normalizing the data. We use has normalizer. It's a Python library for digesting uh, Persian text, text cleaning, sentence and word tokenizer, word limitizer, and etc. Here in this slide, you can find the uh, GitHub links of has normalizer. Third challenge was a uh, data labeling. The collected data has been categorized in three categories by pen annotator and manually. Um, some sentence, uh, just like this is the best movie I've ever seen, uh, carries positive um, emotions. So we assign one to the target. And some other sentence such as the starting was weak, uh, carries a negative meaning, uh, so we assign minus one. And some, uh, the third category is uh, belong to neutral sentence. Um, we can make an example such as, please uh, translate the movie, or I have no idea about the uh, movie, I don't like documentary, and etc. Facing with imbalanced data set was our next difficulty, uh, which is compounded by properties uh, such as data set uh, size, label noise, and data distribution. Because of these most machine learning te uh, techniques perform poorly and need uh, modification to avoid simply prediction the bulk. 
Uh, in this chart, you can um, find the data distribution, which was uh, in balance. 98,000 uh, um, sentence, which carries positive uh, sentiment. Uh, two is assigned to negative sentence, which was 44 sentence, and about 16,000 uh, um, 16, uh, sentence, which um, no emotional. To find the data set balancing best practice methods, some techniques uh, are applied, such as oversampling and uh, undersampling. We observe better prediction in uh, all models. Uh, the undersampling technique. Moreover, to generate the additional and some synthetic data, uh, some data augmentation uh, techniques are applied. Uh, this slide um, represents some um, data augmentation techniques in NLP, uh, which uh, random insertion and random swap, which are in different colors, um, gain the best result for us. So we decided to pick random insertion and random swap. And this chart uh, represents the uh, balanced data set distribution. After that, the data set, uh, after uh, performing this process, the whole data set again input to SPM, CNN, BioLSTM, and a BERT based model. Um, another contribution of the paper is using custom stop words. Sometimes these words change the sentence contextually or uh, some tone of the review. So we decide to, um, according to our uh, problem, we, uh, we use a common stop word uh, and we planned after publishing uh, the paper we will uh, publish the data set and the custom stop word list on github uh, another contribution is proposing a bird based model to take the persian movie review sentiment our model adopts bird based uh, word embedding to obtain each partial sentiment and learn the complex and changeable structure of Persian sentences. Transformers and attention mechanism are a very positive thing in NLP, a revolution. The first uh, Persian study of um, transformers uh, named Parse Bert. Uh, it's a monolingual Bert pre-trained for Persian language, gather a specific uh, Persian corpora and fine tune them for uh, sentiment analysis. Um, using different resources such as uh, Persian product review data sets. And uh, they gain an uh, accuracy of 92%. Uh, uh, in this paper, we try to uh, enhance the accuracy and we gain 94% uh, of accuracy based on a parse BERT model. Uh, in this slide, you can find the parameters which are set for uh, <clears throat> BERT model. And <clears throat> finally, utilizing a custom loss function which results in our a method performing the traditional and the state of art models. Cross entropy measures the difference between the discovered probability distribution of machine learning classification model and the predicted distribution. Categorical cross entropy is used in multi-class uh, classification. As I mentioned earlier, we use uh, three kinds of labels here in this study, uh, negative, positive, and neutral. So we select the cross entropy. Uh, also, um, we also empirically observed that a delicately craft combination of Wasserstein and cross entropy loss function would result in significantly better mo uh, model training. Uh, recently, the Wasserstein metric has been showing excellent results, particularly in GANs. This approach is uh, often based on uh, first Wasserstein equation or uh, earth mover distance between uh, two distributions. 
which basically measures the amount of mass needed to be transported to convert one distribution to another based on our notation. Um, this distance um, is defined by the first equation. Also, it can be shown using contorbic, uh, contorbic Rubin-Einstein duality that this metric can be transformed to simply calculating the mean of uh, classifier output. Uh, in this study, we propose uh, the last equation, which is a linearly combination of cross entropy and Wasserstein, where lambda. Uh, is the combination coefficient, which can be considered as a hyperparameter. We empirically observed that the lambda equal to n would be a great choice and set it uh, to three for all experiments. Um, in this table, uh, you can compare the results uh, in BERT model um, with uh, cross entropy loss function and the linear combination of cross entropy and Vassar state. And here we try to introduce uh, some Python libraries which we uh, use to implement a model such as PyTorch, Pandas, uh, NumPy, Scikit-Learn, and about the other experimental results, we use 16 gig gigabyte of RAM and uh, 500 um, SSD hard uh, under the Ubuntu operating system. The model was uh, implemented in 11 minutes and uh, 34 seconds under um, NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000. And in the last slide, you can compare the results uh, of uh, different proposed models and also the evaluation metrics of them. Thank you so much for paying attention.